Coinbase files for partial summary judgment in SEC case. Regulator pushes for three-year review period. Coinbase. Crypto regulation. SEC. The SEC has long been known for its regulation by enforcement approach to digital assets. Last updated. October 16, 2024, at 01,09 GMT plus 3. Author. Julia Smith. Author. Julia Smith. About author. Julia is an experienced editor with a passion for covering a wide variety of beats. She loves all things politics and regularly covers regulatory updates on emerging technology here for crypto news. Author profile. Share. Copied. Last updated. October 16, 2024, at 01,09 GMT plus 3. Why trust CryptoNews? With over a decade of crypto coverage, CryptoNews delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make CryptoNews a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about CryptoNews. Coinbase filed on October 15th for a partial summary judgment in its lawsuit against the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, as it seeks documents from the federal agency regarding its stance toward current crypto regulations. Coinbase files for a partial summary judgment. According to the legal document, Coinbase has filed Freedom of Information Act, FOIA, requests to obtain internal documents on crypto from the SEC, only for the federal regulator to reject the crypto exchange's attempts. For years, despite repeated requests from regulated parties, the SEC has refused to explain which digital asset transactions it believes are subject to the securities laws or how firms can comply with existing, inapt securities rules. The filing reads in part. At the same time, the agency has launched a scorched earth enforcement campaign against digital asset firms for their purported failures to comply with the agency's unworkable and unknowable rules. Lawyers for the Brian Armstrong-led organization argue that the SEC cannot legally justify withholding documents related to the crypto exchange's FOIA requests. The government agency purportedly requested three years before it could review Coinbase requests. Any burdens on the SEC can be fully addressed by focusing immediate litigation on the SEC-generated documents on a reasonable briefing schedule while the parties negotiate reprocessing of the remainder. The motion states. The SEC's stringent approach to crypto regulations. The SEC has long been criticized for its regulation by enforcement approach to digital assets. Notable crypto players such as Kraken, Binance, and Ripple have been in trouble with the federal regulator. Last week, crypto platform Crypto.com sued the SEC after it received a Wells notice indicating the Gensler-led agency would issue an official enforcement action against it. In a letter announcing the lawsuit, Crypto.com Chris Marsalek lambasted the SEC's crypto regulatory strategy by calling it unauthorized overreach and unlawful rulemaking. Improper SEC enforcement actions are part of the process of operating a legitimate and licensed crypto business in the U.S., Marsalek said. While this is an unprecedented move for our company to file suit against a federal agency, actions by that agency towards our industry have left us no other choice. Republican nominee Donald Trump has promised to fire Gensler should he win next month's U.S. presidential election. In contrast, Democratic nominee Kamala Harris has remained relatively vague on her support for the blockchain sector as a whole. Follow us on Google News.